I was trying to figure out how to do like effects and stuff on here, but I haven't I haven't did it in a minute, so it's it's uh oh what's this here uh da, 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 da. oh those are stickers oh getting ready to head in from work. Got about an hour here. Figure I'd jump on and say what's up to the Facebook people. So I hear Rick Sanchez is making money on my name. You make that money, Rick. You make that money. Maybe that's the only way you can make money. <laughs> Maybe that's the only way you can make any money is on other people's names, huh? Which that's all good, man. I'm not I'm not a hater of any sort of, of anybody making any money, for real. If somebody can make money on my name, go ahead and make your money, man. I'm gonna make mine too. The sad part is though, I don't know how to make money on YouTube. <laughs> that's fucked up, ain't it? I need to find me somebody that wants to make some money on YouTube and we'll make it together. I figure I just throw that out there. You got a lot of people out here know know how to do that shit, YouTube stuff. I'm not much into the YouTube anymore, man. There's just too many haters. They want to get on there and try to get you fired from your jobs and shit. It's like, what the hell? You don't even know these people, you know? I guess I guess in this world you're gonna have people that you gonna have people that like you, you know, that like what you stand for, and you're gonna have people that that are gonna want to hate on you, you know. I've seen that, man. Trust me, guys. I've I've seen it all, man. They they've all came at me, you know. It doesn't bother me though. You got to keep on moving on. What's up, Anthony? You got to keep moving on in life, man. You can't let people like that get you down. What's everybody up to tonight? I had to make a new YouTube or Facebook page. Somebody hacked my shit. And yeah, the guy, the guy hits me up and he's like, he must have been broke as hell. Because he's like, oh, yeah, if uh, you send me a $100 stream card, I'll give you your, your page back. And I'm just like, dude, why would I want to pay you a hundred bucks or get this stream card to get videos of me at work? <laughs> yeah, I, keep them. I don't give a shit. That shit don't bother me. I'll just make a new page, you know? But yeah, I, <laughs> And then my aunt, my aunt told me, she's like, yeah, I know who it is. I know who it is. It's this fucking guy. So-and-so. And I'm like, yeah. This dude literally like hit every freaking friend on my, on my list. He went down my friends list trying to hack every damn person on the friend list that I got. It's like, what the hell, dude? You know, <laughs> who the hell does that? I guess there's people out here to do that shit though. They ain't got nothing else better to do. Obviously, you don't got a job. A fucker don't work. But yeah, shit. It doesn't bother me at all. I'll make a new page. I was gonna see if I can get my find my sister here. See if I can locate my sister. See what she was up to. Now I had uh, Linda. What's a hi, Linda? I had Linda hit me up, and Linda asked me. She's like, "Why don't you do YouTube? Why don't you uh, go on to YouTube?" And Rick Sanchez is making money on your name right now. 
And I know this Rick Sanchez. What's up, Stan? I know this Rick Sanchez, dude. Uh, he's just a hater is all he is. And obviously he's probably, I guess he's making money on, on my name. And he's got people coming to his page because he's making videos of me. And uh, obviously probably a dirty. But it's like, I don't give a shit. I don't care. Let him make all the damn money he wants to make. If he can make money, let him go ahead. But, but me, I'm not going to sit and make money on somebody hating on somebody. I just can't do that. I guess, you know, it's just difference, the difference in me and him. What are you up to, Stan? Uh, they got me down in Wisconsin. Got me down in Wisconsin. Little fucking shithole town down here in Wisconsin. I shouldn't say that. It's actually pretty nice. Pretty nice little town, dude. So it's so cold out here right now, man, that the damn truck door won't, it won't shut. You know what I mean? It won't like latch when you shut it. So I had a, we rode from Minnesota down to Wisconsin with a damn, uh, and it's a newer model truck with a damn ratchet strap hooked to the damn door hooked to the bottom of the <laughs> hooked to the bottom of the damn uh, seat oh shit what'd you do to it man I heard that wish I had me a big fatty <laughs> I get my car running good man I'll come over and check you out I got a one of my buddies uh one of my buddies is gonna take a look at it here. He's a, he's a, he's a mechanic, and which I just put a damn uh, a crankshaft sensor in it, and I thought that's what it was, cause you know how that crankshaft turns and it's got them, them little fucking, cause what's going on is it's not getting no spark. You know what I mean? It's there, it's not getting sparks to the to the damn spark plugs, and uh, I'm like, what the hell? So it's got to be the the, I figure the crankshaft sensor or the camshaft sensor and I put a, a crankshaft sensor in it still no spark yeah fucking cold weather man the fuck shit up dude Norm came out and helped me he been coming out and helped me check it out man he, that's awesome that he did that dude I went to AutoZone and bought the parts and the fucking dude ripped me off. He took a hundred dollar bill from me and and put it on the thing as fifty dollars. And I called AutoZone back up and I'm like, hey man, uh because I was in the mix of talking to Norm and getting the part and you know, figuring out what in the hell's going on with my car. I didn't even realize when he gave me back my change, he only gave me like a couple dollars back. I just stuck it in my pocket and figured, well, you know. Hell, all the changes there, you know. I get home and I'm like, well, "What the hell, man? I should have like fifty some bucks coming back." So I called AutoZone, <laughs> and the guy from AutoZone told me that this kid put his two weeks in, and that there's been other people that th that's happened to. And I'm like, "What the hell? This kid's just ripping off everybody." And so the dude fucking called his manager up. And that manager is calling another manager. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. How many managers are going to get called? I want my fucking money. <laughs> fucking work hard for that money, Jack. I want it. Yeah, I had a lady, man, told me I should do YouTube videos that, uh, you know, these certain people are making money on my name. She's like, you should do YouTube, man. I'm like, you know, I would do YouTube videos, but I don't know how to make no money on that shit. You know, the only way we know how to make money is fucking just fucking using our fucking hands. <laughs> I don't know how to make any money on YouTube, but I, I wouldn't mind it. Fuck. Sure would be nice to be able to sit home and, and do this kind of shit right here and not have to be out in the cold and working and shit, make money. I don't know if I could do that, though, to be honest with you. I don't think I could sit and 
which, you know, shit, after a while you could, uh, I guess, just make videos and shit. Yeah, it's cold out there, guys. It's cold out there. Yeah, it's all about the followers. And you know what it comes with them followers? Fucking haters and everything else. People trying to get you fired from your real job. Because they can't stand you, I guess. They can't stand to see a man win. Fucking haters. That Rick Sanchez, I'm going to shut you down, bitch. Making money on my name. I'm going to shut you down, boy. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. You got some people out here that can make money on your name, and you can't even make money on your name. What the hell's up with that? Uh, what the hell's up with that, dude? You got these guys can make money on your name, but you can't make money on your name. <laughs> uh, I you, you know, the thing is, I don't, I don't do YouTube, man. I don't do YouTube. Just because of the haters. What's up there? Is that Michael? What's up, Michael? I don't do YouTube, man. I mean, if I did, yeah, if I can figure it out. Don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd love to make money on YouTube. I just, I don't know much about the shit, though. I know how to post videos. That's about it. <laughs> well, you've been up to, Stan. I got a new number. I had to get a new number, man. Too many of them damn YouTubers had my number. Fucking one YouTuber gets your number. Next thing you know, there's 40 fucking thousand people got your phone number calling you. All hours of the night, too. I mean, I work night shift, so they think they're fucking with me. But it's like, hey, I'm up during the night all, all night long. But, damn, when you're getting fucking 75 calls in the night, it's like, ah, time to get a new number, man. Too many fucking people know you. And that sucks because I had that number for like 20 years. 20 years I had that number, man. I had to get rid of it. Now I can't Now I can't even figure it out. Now I don't even know it's a new number. Every time I got to give my number to somebody, I got to go with my phone and fucking look at my number. I guess after a while, I'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, but shit. I think it's going to be my last week up here in Wisconsin. The boss has got a, a subcontracting crew who's going to come in and take over just because the guy's got, he's got more workers. This dude that he's going to sub it to, dude's got like seven, eight people working for him. And I get that. I get to collect my unemployment for a couple of weeks, and then we're gonna then we're gonna get some jobs uh, down in Minneapolis. Thank God, man. Might get to be home for a while with the family, which would be nice. That'd be nice. I'm constantly on the road working, man. Tomorrow's uh, me and the old lady's 19 year anniversary, Stan. I don't need her, buddy. To be honest with you, I really don't, man. I just, I got to, man. I got to. I don't have no choice. You know what I mean? I wish I had a choice. Lord, please give me a, give me a choice. <laughs> give me a choice. I don't want to do this travel no more, God. Help me out here. Send me a sign. <laughs> What's up, Ashley? You know, it says, is that Ashley, I'm not sure how you say your last name, is it, is it Crow or, I'm not sure, I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but, hi, uh, I mean, I see it says Ashley, but it's, a, it's got, a, got a dude's picture on it. I think it's a dude, I'm not sure, I mean, I'm sorry if I'm wrong there, but, <laughs> yeah, man, no, nah, I've, I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm getting ready to fucking take a few weeks. Crow like the bird. All right, got you, bro. Got you. Ah, uh, not much, man. Just 
Just hanging out, getting ready to go to work here in a couple hours. Trying to figure out, uh, you know, I had this, I had, a, I had a lady told me a while ago, she's like, dude, you know, you got these people on YouTube making money on your name. Why don't you make, why don't you put, put videos on YouTube besides Facebook? And I'm like, I really don't know. How to, I mean, I know how to do the YouTube by just posting the videos, but I don't, I don't know much about making the money on the YouTube, you know? And when you go on the YouTube, man, you got a lot of weird motherfuckers on there. I mean, don't get me wrong. You got some crazy people on Facebook too, but I can be just as crazy as any of them fucking guys. But YouTube, you got some freaks on there, dude. I mean, them fucking people, they come out of the woodwork. And let me tell you, they're, they're, they come after you. They come after your fucking job and everything, man. They try to get you fired from <laughs> your fucking job making money. And it's like, man, you don't even know these people. It's like they, they hate you that much, man. And they don't even know nothing about you. I mean, I can get along with the devil. Don't get me wrong. But when you got fucking people coming after your livelihood, trying to take your job, it's like, well, I'm, fuck that. I ain't posting no shit on YouTube no more. Fuck that YouTube shit. Yeah, I heard that, man. Yeah, I have did this shit for God. Me and Stan, we've, we've did it since we've been young boys, man. Fuck yeah, man, it's shit. Know all about that, huh, buddy? And that's just it, bro. I can't be no other person. I'm I'm myself, man, and you know, it's it's either love me or hate me, but I'm I'm not out here trying to be somebody else. I'm I'm gonna be me whether I'm a motherfucking millionaire or a fucking dirt poor. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be me. You know, and you got people that love it. You got people that hate it. And I can't, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Motherfuckers going to hate. They're going to hate. Go ahead and hate all you want, you know. But then again, you got people that really, you know, like this lady hit me up earlier. I seen her voice message when she hit me up. She's like, oh, my God, you know, I, 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 I got to tell my son about this. And it's, uh, on the other hand, it's like, it's kind of like fl flipping me out there a little bit. It's like, wow, man, this woman is looking at me, or looking at me like I'm fucking some kind of, you know, some kind of fucking me in her or something, the way I feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, my God, man, I'm, I can't believe you, you, you even sent me a voice message. Well, I'm just a regular Joe, man. I'm nobody special. I'm just a fucking regular Joe. With haters. We all got them, huh? We all got haters, don't we? I'm sure, you know. I might start posting some shit up on YouTube. Just because them haters hate it. That's why I'm going to do it, you know? Just because the haters hate it. I'm going to post some shit on YouTube. That fucking Rick Sanchez, for one of them, sitting there making money. I hate even saying anybody's name, but it's like, motherfucker, you want to sit and make money on my name? I don't know how he's getting these videos of me, to be honest with you. There's been some people who uh, want me to throw some tap dancing videos up on there. I thought about it. I thought about it. Then I, you know, my last, my last, um, my last damn uh, page I had got hacked. And I had a pretty good run going with a couple videos that I did. I mean, I wasn't making no money or nothing off of them, but damn, I was getting some, I was getting some views on there. I mean, I had one was up to like almost 30,000 views. That's a lot for me. I, I mean, I'm not like, I'm not like one for like getting millions of views or anything. But hell, you guys know that. I don't do YouTube like that. I don't do it like that, but... And it's just because of the haters, man, is the reason why.
they try to get your jobs and shit, you know, it's like, man, um, I don't bother nobody. I fucking go to work, take care of my family, and just like any other uh, fucking blue-collar American, just go out, work, take care of your family, and that's that. You know, I don't get in nobody's business. I stay to myself, but you got these damn haters on YouTube. They want to try to ruin your life. They want to try to take what you're working hard to get, you know? It's like, man, I'm not trying to run no competition with nobody. Fuck you know what I mean? Well, they look at other people's videos and they think I'm the same way as that person. And I'm not. She told you why. I'm fucking like night and day, man. How the evidence was planted in these Stan, you know that shit. Avery, she insists, was uh, you know, if I'm, if I'm sitting here convinced. telling you something, you, you bet it's, it's the truth. You know, I don't got to lie about anything. Circuit Court denied that request. Which I really don't. The the I, you know, anymore, guys, I don't let it get to you, man. You can't let it get to you. If you let it get to you and they see you letting it get to you, oh, they're really going to kick it up. You know what I mean? That shit don't bother me, though. You, you know, what, they know they know how to get to you is when they start fucking with your family, you know, when they start fucking with your livelihood, start talking shit about your wife or whatever, you know. Me and my wife are getting ready to share a 19-year anniversary tomorrow. I love my wife very much. Never cheated on her, never none of that shit. I don't believe in that shit. And we got two, two uh, beautiful little kids together and... You know, I love my family just like any other man. I'm just out here trying to take care of my family. That's it, man. And these motherfuckers trying to take my job away, which what was funny about all that is they got me fired. I give them that. They, they got me fired. But when they got me fired, I fucking got hired on by another company and started making more money. So I'm just like, well, hell, fuck. It kind of worked out my in, in my way. That's uh, what I'm saying, dude. I, I'm not, you know, Stan, I'm, fuck, man. Like I said, man, I can get along with the devil, man. I don't know why these people are out to hate on me so damn bad. I don't, I'm not even a hating kind of person. You know what I mean? I'm all up for laughs and giggles and jokes and shit. I'm not out to try to ruin nobody's life. But there's people on YouTube that follow other people, man, and they look at me like I'm some kind of fucking uh, competition to them or something. It's like, dude, I don't want to be no competition. Fuck, I'm just a regular Joe. You know, how's your car coming along, Stan? I seen that fucking work of art you're doing. Thing looks bad as hell, man. What is that, a 36? I don't want thing. That thing looks fucking tough, dude. I like them headlights on it, like teardrops. Yeah, I got to head in at, head in at work by 9 o'clock here. Go out and have me a smoke. I got me a new girl down in Jefferson City. Yeah, yeah. she lets me fish whenever I want to. I got that song stuck in my head. Huh? You know, you get to a point on this Facebook thing to where, you know, you start a new page and you got, you know, four or five people watching your videos. And next thing you know, there's 10, 20 people watching your video. And then, the, then you roll it out a month or two. And next thing you know, there's fucking 50, 60 people watching your videos. And about 50 and 60 people watching them, there's at least a good 10 of them in there that are fucking haters. And they want to try to shut you down any way they can. <clears throat> Trust me. <clears throat> I know that from experience. That's why I don't do the YouTube shit. Does, do you guys know how to make uh, money on YouTube? Let me know. We'll make money together. For real. I'm all up for sharing. I'm all up for sharing. I'll get somebody to run the page, and I'll, I'll just throw the I'll just throw the videos at that person. If you know how to make the money, 
We'll make it together. Like I said. What'd you do to your back, Stan? Said you fucked your back up, huh? Well, tomorrow's my last night out here, and I get to go home. Thank God. Then I might be on uh, unemployment for a couple weeks, the way it sounds, until we get these other jobs coming up. <clears throat> but I'm looking forward to this unemployment, to be honest with you. I haven't got no unemployment for a while, which, uh, don't get me wrong, I, I love working. It, it, I mean, I love that money. Who don't? And I'd rather get a thousand, a thousand a week, eleven hundred a week, besides six hundred a week, you know. And that's that's with anybody. I wish I can. Uh, I wish I could live in like West Virginia and make the kind of money I make out here. Fuck, I'd have me a nice big house. But shit, shit's getting high as fuck everywhere you go. I mean, food. Electrical, fucking gas, everything just skyrockets up, man. It's like you gotta make a, you gotta make twelve hundred dollars a week just to fucking survive, you know. And I feel, I feel real bad for these people that don't have a home and they're out here living on the streets, man. Especially in this cold weather, man. That's, I, I really feel for them people. You know, when I see homeless people, if I can help them, I try to help them, man. You know. And, and, and trust me, God sees that shit. God sees it, man. If you do good in your life, like Ma used to tell me, you know, my mother was 80, 86 years old when she passed away. She used to tell me, son, if you be nice to people through your life, God will let you live to be an old man. You go around here roguing and robbing and lying, God's life will take you off of this earth just as quick as he puts you on it. And I believe that shit. I stand for being nice to people, man. That's why I don't understand why people come at me. I'm a good person, man. Yeah, it is, actually. It, it really is, man. It's, it's outrageous. Well, I just seen a friend of mine post it up on Facebook about McDonald's fucking double cheeseburgers are like five bucks now. And he's like, he's like, I wouldn't pay fucking five bucks for a salt, uh, a sawdust cheeseburger. <laughs> I thought that was funny, man. I really did. I told the guy in here, I said, Hey buddy, uh, you got to make us night crew guys some coffee. I said, every time we come down to get some coffee, all the coffee's gone. I'm not a big coffee drinker, but, you know, here lately I've been sipping on the coffee, like sipping on the gin. <laughs> that coffee helps you out fuck, when you got to work night shift. I didn't feel like I got much sleep today. Oh, damn, it's cold out here, guys. Holy shit. It's supposed to be warming up by the end of the week here. I hope it does. Somebody said it's going to get up in the 20s, 30s. I said, damn, that's going to be a heat wave. It was like negative 17 out here uh, yesterday, out here in uh, Wisconsin where I'm at. Yeah, I heard that, dude. Yeah, that's all I do is night shift, man. Nine to nine to six on this job. Usually I go from nine to seven, but they want you out of this out of this place by six o'clock because uh, that's when the store, I guess, that's when the store starts opening up. They don't want a bunch of people in there working. But we fuck, man, we we tore the hell out of this store. It's looking good though. though. I had a buddy of mine working with me, and he he just got fired yesterday. Fucking didn't show up for work, and 
first day. I mean, I get it, man. When you got when you got kids and stuff, man, I understand that, man. When you got kids and you know you're a single parent, it's hard when you you know when your your other siblings got to work and there's nobody to watch your kid. I, I get it, man. But I also get it that you got to be at work. There, there's shit needs to be done, you know. It, that's a kind of a lose lose situation there. I hate it that the dude got fired, man. I really do. He's a good buddy of mine. God damn, I got a whiff of weed there. Hey, buddy, share that. Share the wealth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a pothead. I like my greenery, but I don't got none. Let me get me some coffee. Whoa. Hi. Cold out there. I'll get some coffee to warm me up. Oh, did he make any warm coffee yet? I don't think he did. Throw his shit in the microwave. Oh, it is warm. Cool. What? Cool. Oh, I, are you talking to me? You? Yeah, are you talking to me? Oh. <laughs> I was sitting here on YouTube. I told the guy I'm making some coffee for the night shift crew. feel like 11 degrees does it um, I mean I guess compared to last night with that wind blowing ooh, it was cold out if but, it really was 11 degrees that is really cold huh? yeah yeah you know I'm from Minnesota well I'm originally from West Virginia but I live up in Minnesota uh -huh. so I mean it, it gets really cold up there you know uh -huh. but uh, they said it's supposed to be like in the 30s up there this week that is like a heat wave. This coffee should warm me up. I told him making some fresh coffee. Right? I know it. I mean, you get frostbite real quick out there and that stuff. Especially working outside in it. Oh, man. Well, you have yourself a good one. Thank you. She don't know if she's talking to the kink. <laughs> oh, shit. I wish, huh? Dude, so, you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Ryan Up Church. Man, I seen one of his videos this week. So when he did that big show, I think in Corbic, his first big show that he did, when he did it with that other country star, dude, his mom fucking stole a million dollars off of him, went and bought two houses, $500,000 a piece. And it's like, dude... Fucking Ryan just bought you a fucking mansion home, all kind of land and everything else. And 
He want to sit and rob the guy. I was wondering why he kicked his mom out the house. It's like, yep, you robbed me for a million dollars. Yep, I'd kick you out too. Come on, door. Work. Got that lady following me upstairs. Like, what the hell? You trying to follow me or what the hell? Damn, it's cold. She said it was 11 degrees out there. It don't feel like 11 degrees. Uh, feels like, like 11 below. All right, bro. You fucking get her done. I'm going to jump off here. I got to get my shit ready too, man. Kick back, watch some YouTube. You guys have a good one, man. Yeah, dude, for real. You see that shit, man? Yeah, and he was standing in front of this house, man. It's a big ass house too, and he's like, he's like, yeah, this is the house that I bought that I didn't even know that I bought. Friggin' his mom went and paid five hundred thousand, and then she goes and puts the house in some other woman's name, so Ryan wouldn't even know that this house was in her name. And the guy calls Ryan up and says, "Hey." We just bought this house. We were just wondering if you wanted to come and get your stuff out of him. He's like, what What house? What stuff? So they give him the address. He goes over. There's all kind of music shit in this house that she had bought. He's like, well, hey, uh, there's a car out in the garage, too. He's like, a car in the garage? He's like, yeah. He, and he goes out there and look, and it was a fucking uh, a T-top Trans Am sitting in the garage that she had bought. And just fucking up and just left it, dude. It's like, man, you know, when you're poor and, and then you hit it big, it's like you would think that, I mean, you wouldn't spend like that, you know? But, I, I mean, I guess, man, if if you're poor and you hit it big, I guess you, you're going to spend like a motherfucker. <laughs> But yeah, that's crazy that she went and bought two houses for five hundred thousand dollars. Took a million dollars from that guy's account and he didn't even know it. It's like, damn, dude. I was wondering why he kicked her out. Then you got these other YouTubers on there fucking sitting there telling him, Oh, you know, it's your mom, this and that. It's like, yeah, it's my mom, man, but she's sitting there ripping me off. I don't know if I could deal with that neither, you know? Fucking million dollars, that's a lot of money. You can tell the dude was upset about it. I mean, I, I feel for the guy, man. I feel for him having to kick his mom out of the house and shit for doing something like that. You know, that's pretty pretty bad. And then trying to hide it from him when he when he bought her a home, bought his brothers a home, pretty much hooked most of his family up, trying to take care of everybody, you know. And then they're stealing from him. Fucking, they, like, like they say, man, money's the rule of all evil, you know, and it, it sure is, man. Money's killed a lot of people in this earth. Greedy fucking people, man. That's what it is, greed. And that greed don't get you nowhere, man. It just gets you right back, back in the same position you were in before you got rich. But all right, guys, we off of here. You guys take care. Everybody have a good night. Stay warm. Later.